What is Pan-Africanism? Pan-Africanism is a worldwide movement that aims to encourage and strengthen bonds of solidarity between indigenous and diaspora ethnic groups of African descent. Based on a common goal dating back to the transatlantic slave trade, the movement extends beyond continental Africans with a substantial support base among that diaspora. Its ideology is multifaceted, incorporating political and economic goals as well as ideas of cultural identification and education. At its core, Pan-Africanism is a belief that African people, both on the continent and in the diaspora, share not merely a common history, but a common destiny. Pan-Africanism positions a sense of a shared historical fate for Africans in the Americas, West Indies, Asia, Europe, and the continent itself, centered upon a reaction to the transatlantic slave trade, Arab slavery, and European imperialism. Pan-Africanist ideas emerged in the late 19th century, primarily in response to European colonization and exploitation of African continent. Pan-Africanist philosophies held that slavery and colonialism depended on and encouraged negative, unfounded categories of race, culture, and values of African people. These destructive beliefs in turn gave birth to intensified forms of racism, which Pan-Africanism seeks to end. Its early roots start in 1897 with Henry Sylvester Williams, a West Indian barista who formed the African Association in London. From his ideology emerged Pan-Africanism as we know it, which exists as a governmental and grassroots objective. Pan-African advocates include such leader as Tissot Laventure, Jean-Jacques Dessalies, Hale Selassie, Julius Nereri, Ahmed Sekor Tour, Kwame Nkrumah, King Shobahuzu II, Robert Mugabe, Tom Sankara, and Muammar Gaddafi, as well as grassroots organizers such as Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X, and academics such as W.E.B. Du Bois. It has been suggested that the assassination of Malcolm X in 1965 was due to his involvement with the Pan-African movement, which would have served as political bodies to support his grievances against the United States and its mistreatment of Africans in America, which he would have presented to the United Nations. Hel Selassie would die in exile in 1975. Thomas Sankara was killed by French-backed forces in 1979, and Muammar Gaddafi would be killed by NATO forces in 2011. Common among the beliefs of these various groups of men Pan-Africanists believe that solidarity will enable the continent to fulfill its potential to independently provide for its people, and all African alliance would empower African people globally. In its front face now, the Pan-African movement exists in the idea of the Organization of African Unity, which is now called the African Union, which was established in 1963 to safeguard the sovereignty and territorial integrity of its member states and to promote global relations within the framework of the United Nations. The African Union Commission had its seat in Addis Ababa and the Pan-African Parliament has its seat in Johannesburg and Megrad. The African Union is a continental union consisting of 55 member states located in the continent of Africa. The AU was announced in Libya in 1999 and the bloc was founded in, in 2001 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The African Union has just over 1 billion people and an area of around 29 million kilometers squared and includes notable world landscapes including the Sahara Desert and the Nile Valley River. The primary working languages are Arabic, English, and French with Portuguese and Swahili being developed. Within the African Union, there are various official bodies such as the Peace and Security Council and the Pan-African Parliament. Political organizations working in the direction of the 
idea of Pan-Africanism. In the continent, there is the Organization of African Union, the African Unification Front, the All-African People's Revolutionary Party, the Convenient People's Party of Ghana, the Pan-African Resistance, the Economic Freedom Fighters of South Africa, the Pan-Africanist Congress of South Africa. In the Caribbean, there is the Pan-African Affairs Commission, the African Society for Cultural Relations with Independent Africa in Guyana, the Antigua Caribbean Liberation Movement, Antigua and Barbuda, the Clement Payne Movement of Barbados, Marcus Garvey People Political Party of Jamaica, the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League of Jamaica. In the United Kingdom, there is the Pan-African Federation. And in the United States, there is the Council of African Affairs.